So I'm going to motivate the next example by assuming uh, that you have some image data um, that uh, has been registered against some template brain, uh, and you want to try and find neurons that match some feature um, in that image stack. So let's go to virtualflybrain.org, um, where we've now deposited uh, tens of thousands uh, of flybrain images registered against different templates. We can go here to the uh, downloads image data link. Um, and in particular, we can go and look at some data from my own group uh, from a paper by Sebastian Cochero and Aaron Ostrowski uh, in 2010. Uh, this looked at sexually dimorphic neurons. We're going to go and uh, take uh, an image of one of these categories of neuron uh, that arborizes within the brain and turns out to be male specific. So the neurons are uh, called PMPE neurons uh, by us, P1 neurons by others. So let's take a look at those. So I'm downloading uh, here um, uh, a NERD file uh, containing uh, the image uh, data. I can then go to Fiji um, and open up that image. Uh, so here we are. OK, so uh, here's the image. Perhaps the easiest thing to get an overview is just to do a projection. Let's make a Z projection. OK, all right, so this is what the neurons look like. Now, this particular group of neurons uh, has a packet of cell bodies here, um, and then a quite characteristic primary neurite extending out from the cell bodies. So what we're going to do is to trace that neurite, and then we're going to use that uh, later on uh, to search uh, a database of Drosophila neurons. So let's uh, get the tracing going. Um, we can use the simple neurite tracer, originally written uh, by Mark Longair. So uh, we are not going to have a 3D view, and we're going to use the default parameters. OK, so uh, the way this uh, thing works is you start clicking somewhere on the neuron, um, let's say uh, here in the cell body packet, um, and then you uh, click somewhere a bit further along, uh, and the tool fills in the path. And if you like it, you say yes and keep going. Yes. Yes. OK, so here's our little tracing. Um, we're now going to save the tracing. Um, so, oops, sorry, we're going to complete the path. We're going to save the tracing in SWC format, uh, which is, I guess, the most uh, common uh, format that people use. Um, so we're going to call this uh, P1Trace. OK. Right. Um, so now we have a tracing uh, that's going to be ready uh, for us uh, to query against uh, uh, the fly circuit uh, database using our nblast online tool. Uh, 